All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, Real McCoy 411. As you have probably seen the video prior to this one, I will link it up here. It's how I got this updo with the little curly ponytail and the little curly bangs. But I'm going to take this style, not adding any more of the African pride cream and gel but i'm going to take the african pride moisture miracle rose water and argan oil and this is the curl mousse and i'm going to take some water now the gel and the shampoo and everything all that's still good in my hair i'm going to take this down and we're going to do a perm rod set and this is going to be my first recorded perm rod set so let's just hope for the best and remember this is my natural hair journey so it's all up in the air it's in the air be the plan, that's what they call me promise that you never be lonely be the fan that's what they call me
Okay, so I have completed my first perm rod set. I am hoping to have Curly Sue's up here, Curly Sue's right here, Curly Sue's right here. I don't have it too tight. I did not use any extra products. I did forget to go in with my oil, but I will use my oil when I take the perm rods down. Only thing I added was water and the mousse. The gel was still in my hair, so I didn't have to add any more of that. I look, it looks like shine is going to be there. It looks like these are going to turn out pretty good. I hope these rods are ready, baby. I hope I did it right. I am actually going to go and sit under a dryer and finish my girl boss coffee. Mm. So, I'm going to sit under a dryer for you guys because I don't do the dryer stuff. But I have a hooded dryer around here somewhere. I'm going to go sit under it. I'm going to come back. We're going to take this down and see if I get a good finished look. So here is the finished look. With this being my first perm rod updo, I don't think it looked bad. My, me myself, I I don't think it looked bad. I, I'm used to the 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 you know the washing goes, the twist outs, and I was able to put a little twist in here with these perm rods, and I was able to slick up the back and have this little outcome in the back and stuff so i think i did a pretty good you guys let me know what you think down below i think i did good i'm gonna thumbs up this video that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna thumbs up the video if you like this video give me a thumbs up let me know let me know if you want to see me continue on the perm rod journey to to make it in something that i can master because i want to master it I want to master it just like I want to master flat twist. Remember, I'm on a natural hair journey. I'm not, I'm, I'm on a journey. That means I'm learning as I go. So I like it. I think she cute. I do. I, and, I, and I actually could, could really, no, I'm going to leave it alone before I go to messing it up. But I could like swoosh it in or whatever and bring, but I'm not going to do none of that because right now what, what we, what we dealing with is, it's pretty good. I think I think it's nice, simple, and it's an updo. And it's an updo. And just the fact that I can have an updo compared to how my hair was one year ago, that's pretty big. That's pretty major. And I didn't add any hair in here or anything. That's that's my hair. That's my little puff back there. 
So I'm really excited about it. Let me know what you guys think. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Remember, the only thing I did was I went in with water so that I could wake up all of the African Pride products that were in my hair. I just went in with some warm water and I added the Rose Argan Rose Water and Argan Oil Soft and Smooth Curl Mousse. This is the only thing I added. And towards the end, just to give my back some that smooth looking, I went in with a little of the gel and cream. Which I feel like if I would have just took some more water, I would have been able to. But I don't I didn't want to re-wet my hair. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think down below. Go ahead and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. There are more videos like this to come. I guarantee you. Keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Yeah.